This is a demonstration of the Pacha Nudge 3D tool for a 3D equalizer. So there's four types that this tool can nudge. Cameras, object groups, 3D models, and scenes. So let's start with cameras. So let's increase the increment here. So we're moving in global space. Now we can select to go to screen space, which can be very useful because it's going to move parallel or perpendicular to the camera. Now we can also rotate the scene. Let's increase the increment here also. Now there's a little bit of bug, so I'm going to have to close and open the interface, and then the problem should go away. Okay, so now it's moving. Let's increase the increment. Now instead of going globally, we can go in screen space. So now instead of being around the world space grid origin, it's going around the camera. And we can also go around a 3D point. So let's say we've got this spot here. We'll tell this to be the pivot point. And now it's in the pivot point there. And now it'll rotate the camera around a pivot point in the scene. Now instead of doing one point, you could also select several points, create the average 3D point, and then you could pivot around an average instead of just one. If you don't pick this uh, pivot point here, then you'll get an error message in using this mode. So this global and local, I would use local because that's in screen Z space. Um, but you can use global also if you want. Uh, you notice that uh, the scale function is disabled for everything except for 3D models. Now we can nudge the focal length, but in order to do that properly, what we have to do is uh, it has to be a lineup point, not a uh, survey point. And this is the same as the regular equalizer match lineup points only option that we're using. So here, now we can nudge. Okay, so let me reset that because that uh, didn't work out quite right. Okay. So I'll make this, make it line up only. And then we move the focal length. Notice the entire focal length is around this point, and uh, you can add extra line of points if you want it to match frame about extra ones there. So the next thing we can move is object groups. So we can take an object group and we can translate it. Now the reason we're getting error here is we actually have to select the object group and now notice it says affected there. So now we're rotating we're doing a translation in global space. Here we can do it in screen space. Now for this, there's a sort of a bug and it has to be a lower value and that's so that the object can't come behind the camera. So this always has to be 0.1 or lower. And we can also rotate 3D object groups. And we can do it in screen space. This is very nice if you want to rotate around the object. And again, we can pick a pivot point here, and then we can rotate around any pivot point that we select. Three D models. Let's select this model here. So let's take out our screen. Let's 
through rotating. Set this to a higher value. So this is translating. We can do the local space. Again, if we do in screen space, we have to limit it to point 0.1. The reason for that was there's a situation where if it was moving behind the camera, that there would be some erratic math that would occur. So here, notice that it's going to go behind the camera. And so it's it's uh, has a limit inside the software that's based on some math that's based around point 0.1. So then uh, also notice we can do uniform or non-uniform scale. So there's this uniform scale here. Also, there's a suite of tools that will make this uh, a separate applet where you can change the pivot point of 3D models. Notice here that the um, scale has gone, it won't go below a certain value, So, but we do have tools where you can uh, scale it down further. Anyway, we've got uniform and non-uniform scale here. So the final mode is the scene. So what happens here we can actually take the entire scene and we can offset it. And most importantly, we can uh, scale it. So notice the entire scene is pivoting around whichever camera frame we're parked on. But we can also do it around a 3D point. So let's say we select this here. That'll be our pivot point. And then we can do uniform scale of the entire scene around either the camera or a point and then the future will have a frame range option so instead of scaling the entire scene it'll scale just the um, frame range that we want. Notice this is set to only change the camera and the object groups it doesn't move the camera geometry because that's sort of sacrosanct.